Uh, without much further ado, may I now call upon our panelists. I'll be calling out your name one by one. Request you to please take your place uh, right here on the stage. We're going to be discussing about how digital is affecting the business outcome. We've got a very robust panel from various brand representations. Um, to moderate this particular panel, uh, may I invite on stage Mr. Ranjoy Day, head of Digital Havas Media. Ranjoy, request to please come up. The panel will be of exactly, Ranjoy, 40 minutes. And uh, uh, we'll take about 10 minutes for a QA and a with the audience. So you may want to keep that in mind, 40 plus 10. Um, Mr. Amitabh Tapadar, Brand Group and Consumer Insights Head, Bajaj Electricals. And I am graduate, I am Ahmedabad graduate and has been with companies like HCL, Tata Power, Voltas and more. Ms. Anuradha Agarwal, Chief Marketing Officer, Marico. And I am Bangalore graduate who's been managing both local and global companies including Mondelez and HUL before she joined Marico. Mr. Siddharth Banerjee, who is also our jury member. Senior Vice President Marketing Vodafone, recipient of the Shivening Scholarship. Siddharth um, has worked both with uh, Unilevers, both in India and abroad before joining Vodafone. Could we have a loud round of applause, please? And we also have a representation from Flipkart Ads. Proceed, requested to please come up on stage and join this panel. We have Mr. Somnath Kedia, who's flown in from Goa, especially to be a part of this. Business head, IFB Industries, uh, is responsible for the PL of the company, and his USP is that he turns around the fate of unprofitable businesses. All right, Ranjoy, all yours. We're looking at a 50 minute panel discussion, and let's take home some great points here from this panel. Thank you. So I think whatever they say today, most probably it's going to be positive because we are participating in a digital marketing award show. So therefore, I will definitely take out some of the best inputs or opinions or point of view, I guess. And I hope you will enjoy this uh, panel discussion. So let's start. Uh, there are three key uh, points that uh, IDMA has, been, uh, has asked us to kind of discuss. The topic, as you know, they are talking about is digital marketing moving the needle, so to say. So therefore, is it creating a business impact? There are three sub points that they want us to discuss. What's the panel to opinion it about? One, is digital marketing in the future therefore going to be the sole marketing media mix as part of the brand initiative? Uh, secondly, therefore, how at this point of time, looking towards that future, the brands are deciding what share of the media mix is digital marketing going to be or currently is. And if that's the way the brands are thinking today seriously, then how they are going to define the matrices, the benchmarks and the measurement criteria that they are putting in place to define where eventually digital marketing is going to be the key factor to define business impact. So I'll start with Prasid here because he is representing a online platform, Flipkart. And while Flipkart themselves are in majorly their own online business, but at the same time they are building fantastic and very innovative brand partnerships also to support them on their digital marketing journey. So Prasid, how do you like to comment upon the first point that is digital marketing in the future going to be the sole marketing mix for the brands? Yeah, so I think uh, I'd like to say yes, I think in the future digital marketing will be the sole uh, part of the mix. But Yo. when I say yes, but when I say that I, I need to qualify it uh, saying what we know of digital media today is probably not what digital media is going to be in the future. Uh, we believe and lot many people uh, in the media agency world or the marketing world believe that uh, all media is becoming digital and uh, therefore if media is being used for marketing and, and if all media is going to be digital, then of course yes digital will be the whole marketing mix. 
but if we were talk of what's happening right now, uh, then as some of the marketing veterans sitting here, they would all agree that it is finally about chasing where the consumer is. So even as Flipkart, uh, though we are an online digital platform, we invest behind other media today, which is print, television, etc. Uh, we believe we need to gain consumers from uh, other sources, and therefore we need to employ other marketing vehicles, other media vehicles. Uh, but like I said, at some point in time, all of that will, will become digital, and therefore, to answer your question, yes, digital will be the sole uh, channel for uh, marketing or media. So therefore, uh, are you guys able to convince the brands that this is where the investments should be, and by partnering the brands, you are able to move the needle for them? Yeah, so uh, on that front, I think I'd like to split that, the answer into two. So there are brands that work with us, and there are brands which do not work with us. For even on this panel, there are some brands which work with us, some brands which do not work with us for the nature of the, uh, the product or the brand that it is. Uh, for brands that actually work with us or retail with us, uh, it's a great uh, a platform for advertising because that's exactly where consumers are coming. Uh, what we have seen is uh, branded search queries, the volume of branded search queries on our platform are sometimes 4x to 6x as high as what happens on a Google, for instance. Uh, so consumers are definitely moving towards vertic uh, horizontal platforms like Flipkart uh, to figure out more details about brands. So therefore, therefore, that habit is moving, shifting to commerce platforms. Uh, and therefore, advertising on vehicles, on commerce platform vehicles, will definitely serve you much better in terms of uh, leading to better business outcomes. Uh, than probably uh, advertising elsewhere. Uh, of course, the objective of advertising elsewhere, as we discussed earlier, was uh, driving consumers to the platform and therefore uh, retail happening there. Uh, for brands which do not retail, uh, how we are helping them is the fact that we have a rich understanding of the consumer, what consumers are looking for. Uh, for example, a Vodafone, for example, uh, we know, as in, I think mobile phones today, uh, the largest uh, sales channel for mobile phones yeah. is commerce platforms. Yes. And therefore, a natural fit for a brand like uh, Vodafone being present there. The Vodafone as an entity is probably not selling directly. Sure. But even that sales channel is happening through SIM cards being packaged along with uh, mobile phones or special offers being packaged with it. Uh, even for FMCGs, it's a rich source of understanding of consumers in terms of what consumers are looking at. For example, if it's a detergent brand, why wouldn't they want to target a washing machine buyer? So it is an understanding of the consumer that exists with commerce platforms. And as Flipkart, we've gone beyond our own, own platform in terms of taking our, our audience and therefore reaching out our audience outside Flipkart. We have something called Flipkart Shopper Audience. And we are able to reach them out and on other inventory or other in exchange network which is available elsewhere. Uh, so yes, we are not limited to the fact that it is only for brands which retail on Flipkart, which is, it extends beyond it. Great. So Amitabh, I mean, taking the discussion forward, uh, you were mentioning in our discussions that uh, there are some interesting experimentations that your brand as well as your category, some of the brands in your category are doing, uh, which Prasid was talking about, that partnering with these third-party portals. So how are you looking at digital marketing investment or is it a digital business investment that you are looking at? So I think when we started the digital journey, uh, the primary question was should we have our own e-commerce website or should we go along with the e-commerce players? So apparently that question has literally become a bit of a non-entity now. So the next question is how do we work better with e-commerce players whereas we also keep some salience for our own business identity. So the way we see it, uh, there are many players who are doing interesting things in this digital space. So if you look at new brands as well as brands which have once gone out of the market and they are seeking to come back into the market, they do a lot of stuff around digital. So earlier in the physical world, we would have companies launching flagship products with a lot of publicity. The product might be based on an interesting concept. It might not be a concept which will sell with the consumer, so it might be a product before its time, but it helps establish the brand equity of the company in say a space like innovation, or it even establishes the company in a particular category. We see a lot of that happening now in the digital space. 
So you will again have products which might be before that time too innovative, but they are brought in at a price point or at a feature which really shocks, surprises, sets up the brand equity. And players are doing it in terms of new players as well as older players who are now wanting to re-enter the category or re-establish the brand in maybe in a premium manner. So do you see a future where almost all your category products might be sold online so, so that your investment, marketing investment becomes completely digital like Prasid was mentioning? I like think you, it's like a mix. Like you gave example of some of the challenger brands. I think it's a mix because uh, in our category of electrical appliances, there is still a lot of touch and feel. So when we go and talk to the end consumer, the retailer or the influencer has a lot of impact upon the purchase. So the retailer also educates the consumer in terms of things like wattage and all. So even if we see the e-commerce portals, a fair job is being done. So even when we put our products on e-commerce portals, we try to give as much rich content as possible, as much of videos and demos as possible. But at some level, physical touch and feel is still important in a high involvement category like ours. So I think the answer is linked to how fast the consumers are going to gravitate towards digital purchase. That might take a bit of time. Anuradha, we were discussing that today awareness, distribution and purchase are the three key pillars. So in a mass market portfolio, how would you respond to what Amitav just said that today the physical touch and feel is critical because with a retail distribution such as large as your category, uh, is digital marketing playing a role in terms of defining the business impact? Has introducing digital has changed anything the way you look at business? Um, so Ranjo, I think this is a, it's a really vast topic and I've said this before, it, the digital marketing world is a many-headed hydra. Yes. And it's, uh, you know, you cut off one head and ten more come out of there. And that's currently the way I think marketeers are looking at this beast. I am uh, pretty much an old-fashioned marketeer who has learned the journey of digital along with the growth of the digital world. And my basic belief is that um, marketeers go where consumers are. And it's as simple as that. It sounds really basic and trite, but at some point of time, when all consumers are online, all marketers, all brands, all access will be online. Till then, I think, um, and the numbers look humongous right now. I remember four years or five years ago when um, I used to look at brands, mass brands. We were talking about 50 million Indian users online, and now we're talking about 450 million Indian uh, users online. And, and the scale difference is so large that now we can afford to sub-segment Consumer ba consumers online. Uh, you can develop almost unique business models to reach consumers with only digital medium. You can decide that this is the only availability channel that you will have. So now we have really interesting FMCG competition emerging uh, with pure business models which are all e-commerce led models and awareness models which are only digital models. I have brands now which have, uh, I mean, we call ourselves a mass company. But I have uh, premium brands where 20% of my business is coming from the e-commerce channel. Wow, okay. Uh, and of course, I have brands like Parachute where we wonder whether it even makes sense for us to go online. Uh, but the interesting thing is that, um, you know, India is a young country. We're always talking to young people. So if I want to talk to young people, I have to be online, whether I'm Parachute, because I'm as ubiquitous as it gets, my consumer is very much online and I go there for building affinity, engagement and bonding. Maybe not for awareness and availability. On the other hand, uh, there are brands like Setwet where almost 80%, 90% of my audience is online and is engaging with this and actually is not even watching TV. So I just want to point out one irony that I noticed when I was sitting on the other side. All the sponsors of today's events are traditional media. <laughs> but the interesting thing is they're all making inroads into this space which is purely digital. So I think these lines are blurring. It's content is king. Virality of content is important. And brands are going where consumers are going. I mean, that's really what I would say. Then in that case, how are you measuring that your growing investment in digital, whether awareness perspective or conversation perspective, whether it is making a business impact or not. I think that's one key question that's there. Uh, so how are you?